So this is example number one. As you can see, we are defining a variable called x with a value of 10, and here we are printing x. So here we have assignment, and here we have execution. And if we want to do all of them together, I mean execution and assignment together, we can't do something like this. Because if I run the code, you can see we get error. But using the walrus operator, we can do so. So if I run the code, you can see here is the output. So basically, we are doing the assignment and also execution in one line and simultaneously. But you will get the walrus operator in example number two and example number three. So this is example number two. As you can see, we have defined a variable called text, which is our text. And here we are splitting our text into words and we are storing that in a variable called words. And here we are printing those words. And here we are printing the learn of that words list, which is basically the number of words that we have in that text. So if I run a code, you can see here is the output. These are our words. And this is the number of words that we have in that text variable. But actually we can merge and mix these two lines together so we can simply use a walrus operator so i simply type words and the walrus operator and i can copy this and paste it here so there it is so as you can see we are printing text.split which is our words but simultaneously we are storing that in a variable called words and we need that words variable in the next line as well so if i run the code again you can see we get the same output so now let's talk about example number three. So this is our text and we want to define a function, for example, called G and that function takes uh, the text as an input and it is going to return the number of words and the number of characters of that text. So for doing so, first of all, we simply type text.split because you want to split our text into words and we are going to store that in a variable called words, that's it. And then we are going to return two things. First, we are going to return the number of words, so the len of the words list, which is basically the number of words that we have in that text variable. But also, we want to return the number of characters inside that text variable. So in order to do so, we can join, so we can join all this stuff in the words list, which basically gives us all the characters, but we want the number of characters. So in order to do so, we simply use the len function, which basically gives the number of all the characters. So basically, this is the number of words and this is the number of characters. And we can make all this stuff a little bit better using the walrus operator. So here, we can use the walrus operator. So here, we can simply type words and walrus operator. And again, we can copy this and paste it here. That's it. And I can delete this line. So as you can see, we are defining a variable called words and simultaneously we are executing this and we are passing it to the len function which gives us the number of words that's it and also as you can see we are using the words variable here as well okay now we want to define an if statement and we want to define something like this we want to say if our text has at least one word so we simply type g of our text g of our g of our text which basically gives us two things first number of words and then number of characters but the zeroth element is basically the number of words so if the number of words of our text is at least one i mean if our text has at least one word then we are going to do some stuff so first of all we are going to print and you're going to print something like this so the number of words is equal to and the number of words is basically g of that text and the zeroth element so that's it and also we want to print the number of characters as well so this is going to be the number of characters as well and the number of characters is basically the value at index one so now if i run a code you can see here's the output as you can see our text has six words and it has 31 characters so as you can see we are calling the g function three times this is number one number two and number three so we are calling the g function three times which makes the program take longer so in order to make it better we can use the walrus operator so we can do something like this for example let's assign this one in a variable called output so in order to do so we want to store this in a variable called output so we simply type output and walrus operator so actually we are storing this in a variable called output and here we are going to use the output variable so here we are going to use the output variable instead of calling the g function itself 
so if i run a code you can see we get the same output but this way is more efficient because it takes less time now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now